I do, don't mind me. Uh, I know you must have seen that video, and if you have not seen it, okay. Welcome to another interesting edition of No Holds Bread. Actually, this thing has trained, it has trended last week. I didn't really want to go into it, but when I saw uh, what the police headquarters said about that incident, I said, okay, let me just come up and say something about it. I want to say a big thank you to all my subscribers in the house. Thank you very much. Those who have um, subscribed to this channel, those who comment, those who wrote their comments, thank you so much. I can feel you, all right? Thanks a lot. And for those who have not subscribed, please subscribe to this channel, like, share the video, and then let me know your thoughts. All right, let's do this. <music> Thank you very much. So, ah, you saw that video. I titled this this uh, video "Police for Hire." Actually, it was a more early show already said it when uh, they do work or got the Nigerian police to arrest him for nothing. I played that video shortly. It brings uh, it calls for concern. Now, the police headquarters said they have identified the police in that video. That event was somewhere in Quara State. And that uh, I don't know what they said they would do. I don't know what they can do to that guy. Because somebody posted him to that woman. And this is not the first time we see Nigerian police following women carrying their bags, following them to the markets. You get to a big man's house. Police, a policeman is there, one or two. Uh, they, they are constitutional jobs. They are no longer relevant. They are supposed to be for the citizens. But there was a time a study was done, and uh, I can't remember precisely the percentage of Nigerian police that are actually in big, big men's houses across Nigeria. So what are these people saying? What, what is the police uh, headquarters saying that they've identified him? As if he, he was the one that posted himself to that woman. I don't understand that. So when you identify, you've identified him, so what? What do you want to do? You can't, you can't punish him because you posted him there in the first place. Uh, it, it's so unfortunate that this, this, this kind of thing happens and it will continue to happen if Nigeria doesn't get it act right. You can even see the facial expression of that guy, that police guy. He wasn't happy. Yes, because he was, he was just squeezing his face like that, carrying food, following that woman. That was absurd. That was really, really, really absurd. Um, Nigerian police is for the highest bidder. Even now, ordinary ordinary citizens can hire them you know for money now we see those in diaspora when they are going to nigeria because of the security issues in nigeria they get police to follow them yeah you can pay them then they are at your service it's even good if you pay them that your service this one now i they would i don't even think you will eat at that party is just to carry that woman's food and give and take it to her table and then he will disappear to, to go and sit in the car or somewhere. It's so, it's so sad. Let me allow you to say what uh, Moye Lecho already said about, about them in this video. That was when he was released uh, from the detention of um, Nedumoko. Listen to this place. I'm out of uh, detention because I told them. This, I know this is a subtle field. Yeah, this is cover up. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and uh, they said Nedu Woko wrote a petition against me. Who is Nedu Woko? I said, this is not Nedu. This is Buhari under <laughs> yes. Nedu, using a Nedu Woko's <laughs> name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, I refuse. When they asked me to rest, I'm free to detain me. They came, they carried me to their detention. Then they came and asked me to leave. I was already sleeping. I was already yeah, so we are told. Yeah. <laughs> Like, home away from home. like don't waste my time. I want to. I want to rest. You know. So, but 
what has happened is that they are aware that we are planning a major political. I did event. tell you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It, is, it is that earthquake that they are afraid of. That's why they brought Neduwoko's uh, uh, petition up tonight. I said, "Who is Neduwoko? Neduwoko is one useless <laughs> on the miss road." <laughs> Uh, and you, you hear more from us. So, uh, sorry guys, that, that was, that's how that video was recorded. I think he was, you know, holding his phone and recording it, so yeah, uh, whole part of his head was, but at least you can establish that that was, that was some more, yeah, they show right? So he said in that video that Nigerian police, they are, they are for hire. The highest bidder can get them. We need Police Service Commission. I mean, there is a body, Police Service Commission. I don't know if they are, they are still there. These are the, they, this is, there are a lot of things that are wrong with the system. You can't blame that guy. Police, that you are saying you've identified the guy. So what? You can't blame him. He was posted there. You can't tell me that you don't know that that particular guy was posted to, that, to follow that woman. So people, short video and very simple. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think? Do you think that that police deserve to be punished? Because they are saying it. The Nigerian police headquarters is saying it as if the guy committed a crime. We've identified him. I, I mean, I saw those those things on Twitter. Let me read one for you and see. Uh, yeah, the Nigerian police force has stated that the officer in the viral video who was carrying a tree of food for a big woman is at an event in Quara has been identified. Uh -huh. So, the, pol the force has also revealed the next action to be taken towards the policeman. Come on, you can't take any action. I mean, that woman cannot, that, that will not be the first time he will follow that woman to an event. Yes. You can't punish, you can't say you want to punish that guy. He was asked to do what he did. He was detailed, you know, to that woman to follow her around. So that's that. And they, and they treat them like errand boys. That's the truth. So Nigerian police efforts are stopped. Anyway, a lot of these things that you say on paper, uh, yeah, okay, they say we identify him. So when you identify him, what do you want to do? As if you don't have it on, on your record that that particular guy was with uh, was working with that big woman instead of him to be in in uh, in a police station attending to the needs of of the citizen. And when it comes to you doing the right thing, doing what you are supposed to do, you are not there. So please don't don't. Don't don't get don't tell us what 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 we know. So people, what is what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section. Your opinion matters. Let me know your opinion, and then I will see you again very 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 soon. Thank you very much, my subscribers. You are mm, you are loved. See, those who have not subscribed, <laughs> this is for you. This is a very simple something. That red button, just click it. Chicken. It's not DSTV. It's not multi subscription. Until I see you very soon, take care of yourself and be safe. Mm. Bye. I love you. Bye.